Hello everyone, it's wonderful to be here with you today. We are continuing our series on the book of Acts, but let's first sing together.
We now know all 66 books of the Bible. Let's do a challenge. Who can remember the first five books of the Bible, also called the Pentateuch? It's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. Who can remember the names of the four Gospels? It's Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Do you remember the name of the last book of the Old Testament? That's right, it's Malachi. What is the name of the last book of the New Testament? Yes, it's Revelations. Do you know the name of the longest book in the Bible? Yes, that one is a bit tricky, but it is Psalms. Well done. Let's sing our Bible book song together. not like change. When we are used to things being a certain way, we find a form of comfort from routine. Some of you have moved to a different house, town 
or even a country. Some of you have moved to a different school and friends. When the things we are used to suddenly change, we feel insecure and sometimes a little scared. As believers, we can always trust God when we face whatever changes comes our way. When we put our faith in Jesus, God began the process of making us more like His Son. As we grow in our faith and allow God to make us more like Jesus, we can see that He uses change for our good. The only way we can handle the twists and turns of change that happen in our lives is to walk closely with Jesus every day. Reading our Bibles and spending time in prayer with God allows us to respond appropriately to the changes that sometimes disrupt our lives. As we open our Bibles, who remembers last week's lesson about Cornelius and Peter? We learn that God had broken the barriers between the Jews and the Gentiles when Cornelius and all his guests believed in Jesus and received the Holy Spirit. This exciting event that fulfilled God's promise to include the Gentiles in his plan for all people to be saved brought change to what everyone had always thought to be God's plan. Today we are going to see how change affected the church. Please watch this video with me. After Stephen was stoned to death, many believers were persecuted and fled from Jerusalem. Wherever they went, they told other Jews about Jesus. Some believers who went to Antioch also told people who were not Jews, Gentiles, about Jesus and many believed in him. We were first introduced to Barnabas when he told the believers to give Saul a chance. He was a good man and encouraged other people. Barnabas was thrilled to meet the new believers and encouraged them to obey God. He was a man of great faith and filled with the Holy Spirit and many more people became Christians. The church in Jerusalem heard that there were many Gentiles in Antioch who believed in Jesus. These new believers needed teaching, so they sent Barnabas to visit the new believers. Barnabas encouraged these believers to remain faithful to the Lord with all their hearts. Even more people became believers. After a while, Barnabas set off to find someone who could join the leaders and help. Barnabas encouraged Paul to come to Antioch to help the new believers. Paul accepted the invitation and joined Barnabas in teaching the new Christians how to live for God. Paul was with them for over a year. Paul and Barnabas travelled from place to place throughout the land, teaching in the synagogues and encouraging Christians. Every time they came back to Antioch, Paul and Barnabas called the church together to report everything God had done through them and shared how the Gentiles had become followers of Jesus. They then stayed in Antioch for a long time encouraging the believers. In Antioch, the believers were called Christians for the first time. The church was about to experience some more change. A prophet named Agabus came from Jerusalem to Antioch. The Holy Spirit spoke through Agabus and told the believers that a severe famine was going to spread over all areas that Rome was ruling at the time. Famine, when there is no food, would bring change to the lives of all who were affected. This change that was coming gave the church in Antioch an opportunity to trust God and be used by him to help other believers. They helped the believers in Jerusalem by sending them some money for food. This chapter that we study today is filled with many good examples of how you and I should respond when change occurs in our lives. 
If we are believers, we can trust God to use the change for good. We do not have to be afraid of change, but see it as an opportunity to grow deeper in our relationship with Jesus. As we grow deeper, we trust Him more and more, and we don't live in fear, but live our lives to serve Jesus and please Him. If you are, a are not a believer, the change you need to make in your life is to turn from your sins and believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and raised from the dead three days later. When you place your faith in Jesus, God changes you and makes you a new creation. You will have the Holy Spirit living in your heart and He will enable you to follow the examples we learned about in today's lesson. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending your Son to save all sinners. Thank you for loving me and changing my life. Thank you for your Holy Spirit and thank you for the church. Help us to be okay with changes in our lives because we know that you are with us. In Jesus' name, Amen. We are closing our lesson with one more song. Sing with me. I'm reading my B.I.B. early And this is what it says to me it Tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J.E.S.U.S. Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J.S.U.S. came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door.
Now you can do the activities that goes with this lesson. I hope you have fun. See you next week. Goodbye.